Hello everyone, let's find the Taylor series of this function at x equals zero. Uh, since the center is at x equals zero, we can use the McClellan series for the tangent inverse function. And then using that, then it will help us quickly find the Taylor series for this function here. Okay, so let's just recall that right here. So first we know that if you have the function tangent inverse of x, it's McClellan series is given by this, starting from n equals zero to infinity. And then the alternating factor is negative one to the n power. And then we have x to the two n plus one over. And then an expression that's the same as the exponent of the two n plus one. So we are getting two n plus one here. Okay, so now how do we use this fact to help us find the Taylor series for this function here? What we can do is that we can substitute the x squared into this x right here. And then that means we are going to substitute the x squared into this x right here. So um, we can start by writing down the x and then you may say, what about the x right here? What about this x in front of the tangent inverse? We can just leave it there. And then after we write down the McClellan series for the tangent inverse, we can multiply the x into the series. So we can distribute the x. So what we have right now is that we have the function. Okay, so f of x now is equal to what x and then now we can write the tangent inverse as this one, right? So we have the summation, and then the alternating factor. And then now this x is going to be replaced by x squared. Okay, so we have the x squared. And then the exponent on the outside is due to 2n plus 1. Denominator here is 2n plus 1. Okay, so that's what happens. And then what is the next step? The next step is to simplify this. Basically, we are finished, right? But we can simplify this by um, multiplying the, the inside exponent and then the outside exponents together. So we are going to get x times the summation and starting from 0. And then we have x to the uh, 4n plus 2. Right, we, can, we can distribute that 2n plus 1 to, well, actually, we can distribute the 2 to the 2n and then the 1, right? So we can do 2, n, two times 2n, right, based on the rules of exponents. And then also the square multiply with this one right here, then you are going to get the 2. And then in the numerator, we do not change anything. We're still going to get the same thing right here. Okay, so now we can distribute the x to all the terms in the series. Then we are going to get what? We're going to get the... x. Now, if you're having x to the first power and then that's being multiplied to the x to the 4n plus 2, then we are going to get 4n plus 3. Then in the denominator, we have 2n plus 1. So you want to, yeah, so this is the answer. This is a Taylor series for this function here. And if we want to write out the, um, the first few turns to see what it looks like, we can actually write it out. That's done by plugging in um, the zero into the n, right? n equals zero for all the n's, and then n equals one, n equals two, and then just start plugging that in. Then we are going to get the first few terms. So if you're putting the zero into here, then you are going to get positive one, and then you put in the zero here, you get the lim uh, the denominator to be one. And then the numerator, if you put in the zero in here, you get x cubed. So you get x cubed as the numerator. And then we know that because there is an alternating factor, so if the first turn is positive, then the first turn doesn't have a minus sign, right? That's what I mean. And then we have minus right here, and then it's going to be plugging in the n equals one into here. 
So we are getting x to the four times one plus three. So we get x to the seven. And then over, and then if you plug the one in here, one times two is two, two plus one is three. So we get three in the denominator. And so you know that two n plus one actually gives you all the odd numbers starting from n equals one here. So you know that if you're writing out a few more turns, then follow that pattern in the denominator. So one, three, five, seven, and then nine, right? Just so continue and so on. And then what about the numerator? Uh, if you plug in the two in here, two times four is eight, eight plus three is 11. So X to the 11. And then, so as you can see right here, based on the pattern, we start from the three and then we get to the seven. That's by adding the four, right? And then you add another four to the seven, you get 11. So just keep adding the four to the exponent. We are going to get the next turns. I mean, the the, uh, the powers for the next turns, right? So we are going to get X to the uh, plus four. So 15 plus four, we are gonna get 19. So as you can see here, we are adding this F4 each time. And then that's actually suggested by this exponent right here, the 4n, okay? The 3 is the starting value, and then you just add multiples of 4 each time. Okay, so that's the Taylor series of this function at x equals 0. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, and then also please check out my other videos.